girl can fish friends. We have Armageddon on our hands. Oh my word, the end of the world has come. <laughs> oh my word. Uh, yeah, we have a serious problem. And I'm gonna have to, I, I, from where I'm standing, I can't see water. So why don't I just turn the camera around and let you see that there ain't no water here at the Childhood Lake. All right, girl can fish friends. There ain't no water in the lake. They are dredging because the silt has gotten too much down at that end. And so, uh, yeah, as far as the eye can see, I can't see no water. Oh, I'm gonna give it a try. Um, there's some people at the other end of the lake. I'm gonna see if I can park in the driveway. I just want to see if there's any water in the lake because it doesn't look like there's any water. And if there isn't any water, there aren't any fish, which is a sad, sad thing. So um, that breaks my heart about a bazillion times right there. So yeah, there ain't no water. Uh, I'll check back in with you. I'm walking and I'm talking. So I can explain this to you while I'm on my way. Um, boys and girls, there ain't no way to get in the water. Unless I, yeah, let's just say there ain't no way. Okay, I'm going, I'm walking towards the water. And I'm sorry the phone's jiggly. Y'all, this is a sad sight. Anybody who's a fishing freak, you're going to cry yourself a river to fill this lake up. Let me just show you. Hold on just a moment. That's the dam. Look how much water there is only in the lake. All right, here comes Perona territory. You can see that shelf, but this is really a good thing. This is a good thing, boys and girls, because now I can see the topography of the lake. And right down the middle of the lake is obviously the deepest part. But look how, look, look, y'all, there's no water there. And there were some guys that were trying to fish over here on the dam side. They disappeared because obviously they weren't supposed to be here. Um, but anyway, y'all, I want to cry a river to fill this back up. And I'm sure every single one of you wants to cry yourselves a river as well. Because, I mean, if every fish in this lake is living in that little pool, uh, yeah, I think everybody's in shock. Um, this dock, y'all, let me see if I can zoom in. Yeah, I can zoom in. Come on, zoom, baby. That dock doesn't have a top on it anymore. That dock does not have a top on it anymore. I hope they put a top back on it. That's sad. But yeah, look, y'all, I can't fish here for a while. I have no idea how long it's gonna take to get the silt out of the, the other end of the lake. So this is just cry myself a river to fill this back up again. So I'm not gonna be fishing at the old homestead for a while because uh, yeah, it's under construction and <laughs> I'm gonna hurt myself trying to get in there with a kayak But yeah, I can only go so far you see here on the edge where it's dry and then it starts to get wet um, Yeah, your feet start to sink. So um, So yeah, there's no walking to get to the edge of the water. There's no boats getting in there so um, yeah um, Boo-hoo cry me a river here comes an egret that's lovely. He's sad too. He's screeching up a storm. There's that egret. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know where all the fish went, but I seriously doubt that there's enough water for every single fish in this lake to live in that little pool. But it is what it is. And uh, so I will uh, we'll have to stay away from the childhood lake for a while. Y'all, I just saw fish. Just saw fish. <gasps> All right, girl can fish friends. I am at the water's edge and I don't have enough weight on my line and I can't get a line in the water. This is pitiful. This is pitiful. This is as far as I can go before I start, um, you know, sinking into to the pluff mud. So um, yeah, and it stinks down here. Um, uh, you know, this is my old homestead lake and I have never seen it this, this before, probably when I was eight years old, but uh, I'm, you know, I'm going to do a cleanup job. If I can't fish, I'm at least going to get, you know, 
cans and broken rods and things that I see on on the you know in the lake that doesn't need to be here so um, yeah if I can't fish I'm gonna help the fish hey girl can fish friends I'm back home because that was that was that broke my heart to see um, so I did catch a red-eared sunfish it died because I tried to throw it towards the water and I was two feet short and he got stuck so then I caught a bass, a small baby bass, and he flipped off the hook halfway up the pluff mud. And I kept cheering him like a cheerleader. Come on, baby, flop yourself back in the water. He didn't make it. But there were some turtles swimming around. They, the turtles were making tight circles towards the fish. So, you know, the, the ecosystem will be complete. You know, the turtles will get something to eat. So um, my next tactic, if I go out there again, um, I'm, mm, that hurts. Uh, Big Nelly over here, yeah, she needs some love, so I'm gonna have to take her out. So fishing, I've got plenty of, of, of um, footage to last me for a couple of weeks. Um, I may just have to, you know, bide my time at Johnson and Craig for a while. And I may not catch much uh, until the water comes back up. Uh, they're dredging at the end of the lake, at the, at the, you know, childhood lake. It could be three weeks, it could be four weeks, it may be, you know, December by the time we get out there. We, me, get out there. Um, but I know when I go out there next time, I need heavy lures. To pass the, you know, pass over the pluff mud into the water, you know, shoot that lure out there. I got hits, I was getting hits, hit, hits. Y'all, it's sad. I had a drop shot and the lure fell off. I, I gotta cast my lure way out there. I need a heavy Ned rig. I mean, they're gonna, they gonna slurp up a Ned rig. Cause the, you know, all those fish are jam slammed in that little pot, tiny pot, pond. It's a pond now, it's not a lake. Um, I tried the drop shot, but I need a heavier drop shot. You know, the actual weight to get it out there. Um, but still, if I catch a fish, you know, and they flop themselves and get stuck in the pluff mud, they're going to die. And that hurts my heart right there, too. So I don't know what to do. This is an update. Um, I will keep releasing videos of the old footage that I have. And uh, just I'll catch up when I can. There may be a, a period of time. I'll, I'll, I'll give you an update when I am run out of, out of old footage and there's no water in the childhood lake. Uh, I'll, I'll make some excursions out to Johnson and Craig. Uh, I won't catch much, but I will at least give it a try. So all that action and all that fun, y'all, um, it's gonna be a while before that ecosystem builds itself back up again, you know, this in the spring. Um, and what is this? This is September, October, November, December, January, February. Ooh, eight months, six, seven months. Ooh, Lordy. Um, that's hurting. So, um, FYI, hey, big flash alert, news alert, news alert. Some of you bass people and brim people and backwoodsy people are going to say, oh, she's gotten bougie on us. <laughs> I'm taking a fly fishing course. Hey, it's a challenge. I don't have a very good experience with fly fishing, but I'm taking a class. So if the class decides after we learn all of our stuff and go fishing somewhere. Honey, I'll strap on the GoPro and uh, put on waders. I got waders. I'll see y'all later. And, uh, you know, I'll catch you later, too. Bye-bye.